Joining us now is Dr. Lindsay Vallone. She's an orthopedic hand surgeon with California Pacific Orthopedics. I know you, you just got out of surgery, literally, so thanks for joining us. <laughs> my pleasure, my pleasure. All right, so we're still waiting to hear the full extent of Steph's injury, mm -hmm. but we saw the Instagram picture, and I wanted to just get your reaction uh, of that, because we see how his hand is wrapped. Mm -hmm. Can you deduce anything from the picture? He was smiling at the picture. I know, so positive attitude there, yeah. despite the injury. So he's wearing what we call a volume resting splint, a splint that goes over the undersurface of the palm, usually extends above the wrist. We can say that the fingers and thumb are free, which bodes well for him not having an injury to the thumb or the digit. So this is likely an injury of a metacarpal or a carpal bone, um, less likely the wrist, although I can't see the wrist in that picture. Okay, you want to show us the metacarpal oh, yes. and what it does? So this is a model of a right hand, and the metacarpal bones are these bones in the hand, so that would correlate to this part of the hand. Okay. And a fracture of an index metacarpal would be this bone here right. on a right hand. ESPN reported it was the second metacarpal, so that would be the that, second right That side. would be this one here. Okay. Um how important is that bone? <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is for Steph Curry and the fans that metacarpal bones typically heal very well okay. with or without surgery. So it's a bone that goes on to union yeah, and is very um, well handled as far as an injury. So what's the best case scenario and what's the worst case scenario? That's a great question. So it really depends on where the fracture is, if it's at the head, the shaft, the base, if it involves the joint, if it requires surgery or just cast treatment. So all of those will go into factoring what the recovery will look like for this. I think on the shortest end, three or four weeks, but we might be looking at six to eight weeks or potentially longer, depending on how bad it is for him. You mentioned something that was interesting before we went on the air, and that was, I assume that surgery would be the worst case scenario. And you mm -hmm. said in some cases, surgery actually speeds recovery. Right, so in some of our patients who have high demand professions, you know, surgeons or professional athletes, sometimes we will perform surgery if there's an indication for it because we can get them moving and out of a cast or out of a mobilization sooner and get them back to their profession. All right, so a month probably minimum is what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, thanks so much for coming oh, in. my pleasure. Yeah, nice to meet you. Me too.